So within the library, there are, uh, as I mentioned, a bunch of different devices. And uh, I'll just expand these and show them to you. Uh, these are ActiveX ones, uh, which you cannot edit, uh, but all the other ones are uh, um, based on ladder code uh, in behind the devices. And that's how you would create and modify um, your project to, to um, simulate your real system. Uh, so I'll just show you over here as well. You can actually go under and uh, do the show device logic. Uh, so this just gives you an idea of what's in behind the devices and, and how they're behaving in the way that they're behaving. Uh, so this is, this is what, once again, makes it behave in its, in, in its certain characteristics or, or, or way. Another thing as well um, that, that you do by right-clicking on the device is you wire it. So once you've placed your devices on your worksheet, you can, you can then go in and wire it. These are all the different variables. I, uh, um, proceeding with an I, is the input uh, uh, variable, excuse me, uh, and proceeding with an O are the output variables. And this in the background here, the style of one, two, three, that's just a graphic. So you can insert graphics in behind the devices to kind of give some context to the devices and um, help them to make more sense to, to whoever's viewing the screen. And if you're doing the simulation and you're the only one working on it, that's maybe not as important, but uh, if you're passing the, the project around and people are doing different portions of it, or in some cases what uh, some of uh, systems integrators uh, that use simulations, our simulation software will do is uh, they'll use PICS to actually train uh, users or do factory acceptance tests as well. So in that case, once again, someone who's coming in that isn't necessarily familiar with PICS, uh, it gives some context to it and helps them to understand what's happening on the screen. Uh, within the I.O. tree here, uh, or within the tree view over here, there's also I.O. connections. In this case, this is we're just using global variables that are, that are within PICS, uh, but this I.O. connection here is um, where you would actually insert a new I.O. connection. And which means, in this case, so what's in here now is a DD client. A DD client comes with PIX, uh, but there is also, for free that is, uh, along, along with this you can also purchase uh, the OPC client, uh, the Profibus driver, and uh, one or two other drivers as well. So, uh, and it, it all depends on how you're going to communicate back to your PLC to exchange the I.O. data uh, with it. The, by, by far the most common these days is, is OPC. And uh, once again, if, um, if you purchase that and install it, uh, it will then show up in your, uh, in your list here to select from. So if I select that, then I can go in here, you can see, and I can put in the server name, uh, topic name, and, uh, and then create some variables over here. And then those variables will then be uh, what gets exchanged back and forth with the PLC. And then, then we can then interact with in PICS and wire those into um, our devices so that it once again is simulating in a real world manner where uh, control that's happening in the PLC, so outputs turning on the PLC are turning, uh, are turning on um, or driving inputs in the devices within PICS which then you know, will churn through the logic within that device, and then um, the output from that device will then get wired back to inputs in your PLC. So you complete that cycle of um, the output controlling and then the input feedback uh, to, to test your logic in a way that would be realistic to uh, a real live plant floor situation.